Hello and welcome. Today we'll be working with Tableau Prep Builder. This is an application that will help you combine, shape, and clean your data for analysis. In the first part of our tutorial, we're going to do a quick overview of the work canvas, how to connect the data, the different steps that can be added, and we'll finally do a couple of transformations. Our goal is to give you a quick view on some of the most used features of the prep so that you can start right away with the application. So let's begin. This is how the user interface looks. It has an example flow open. A flow is a collection of steps from input to output and it gives you a quick glance of all the transformations applied in a sequential order. The left blue pane is where your connections are. This is where you can open the source of your data, meaning Excel file, text, Tableau extract, or from the server. The flow pane is in the top. You can interact with your flow by adding, changing, or removing different types of steps which are the icons you see here. The input pane contains many configuration options and it also lets you see your data summarized by column and can be modified in different ways. Data pane contains a snapshot of how your data looks and in here you can see the changes that have been applied to your table. Similar to what you can do in Excel's Power Query, you can go back to previous steps, modify or delete them. In this first video, we will demo how to connect the data, understand the flow pane input step, cleaning steps, group and replace, and finally the output step. Now let's go to our application and create our first flow. We are going to connect to our file that contains the data that we want to prepare. So we click on the plus sign, we choose the Excel type and browse to the location of the file. Our example is a simple file with three tables. And once we have added the connections, all the tables will appear below in the blue pane. Now we drag and drop the table into the canvas. With that, we have created our first step in the flow. These are called input steps. You can right click and rename the step as you like. When the step is selected, you will see its options in the pane below. For the input step, we can see the columns included in the table and you can select any column and change their name or add filters with formulas as well as changing the format. There are two tabs to note in here. The first one is the multiple files. The default for the step is a single table and the other is the wildcard union. What the wildcard union does is to give you the ability to connect the multiple files within the same folder. If you select the option, it will open up other options. Immediately, we can see the folder where my file is, an option to include the subfolders in the search and from here we will define other options that will tell Tableau what files include in the merge. If you click apply, it will attempt to merge the data, but for now let's keep our single table. Now the other tab is data sample. This is to indicate how many rows and the sampling method that PrEP will use for the data that will be shown to analyze and transform. We recommend for now to leave the default settings. Let's continue building our flow. Let's add one step, click on the plus sign next to the current step and select add step. This is called a cleaning step. And once you have selected the new step, different options appear in the configuration pane. First, see how Tableau Prep is showing the content of your columns. You can see that there are different behaviors depending on the data type. Let's look at the edge. You can see how the edge distribution is there are bars in the background showing the frequency of each group. If you hover over a value, it will show how many rows that field has. When you click on it, the rest of the columns are highlighted depending on which are related to that age group. When you have too many records to show in the window, you can use the slider on the right to scroll down your data. It also shows you a small view of the frequency. For numeric values, you can choose to see the detail or summarize view. Now let's change the format of the product categories to string. Click on the data type icon above the column name. Now let's merge them into one column. To merge, select the three columns and click on the merge fields above. The merge will replace any empty values in the category one for the values in the other two columns. And that's what we need in our example. Now let's try the group and replace option. Let's fix the genders column. As you can see, it has many misspelling for both items. 
For this, we click on the More Options arrow next to the data type of the column, select the group and replace and then pronunciation. Tableau will attempt to create a custom grouping based on common misspellings. This can help a lot to fix these problems. When we click on that option, we will see that it almost fixed everything except for one. For those that we're going to add them manually to the group to fix them. Click on the female group. You can see that those are groups by looking at the clip icon on the left and see the members that it currently has and the members that are left out. Click on the females to add them to the group and click on done. And finally, let's edit single values. Let's go to the marital status column and let's change the zero for single and the one for married. Now see the error we get. That's because we are not using the correct data type. So let's change that to string first and then we change the values. Okay, and with that done, we can review the changes we have done so far. In the changes tab, we can go back to the previous step. A little description is shown in the ribbon above and we can modify or delete any changes made to our table. And now let's complete our first small flow by adding an output step. Click on the plus sign next to the clean step and select the output step. Then again, by selecting the new step, we can see the options of the output in the pane below. You can save your file to a CSV or Tableau data extract type and also publish directly to the server. When you're happy with your output options, just click on run flow. And with that, you have created your first prep flow. On our next video, we will demo how to create other branches in the same flow, multiple outputs, how to aggregate data, and we will create joins and unions to multiple tables. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Irvin and this is PowerGI.